experience by Dr. Kanagaraj Iswaran, Professor, Department of Social Work, Mizoram University. May this day bring to you many things to be grateful for. The prayer is the key tool for refreshing us. So invite Dr. Nana Saranya for the prayer. Om Om Mata Shri Mata Om Shri Mata Mata Om Mata Shri Mata Om Shri Mata Jagan Mata Om Nada Shri Nada Om Shri Nada Guru Nada Om Nada Shri Nada Om Shri Nada Guru Nada Om Mata Shri Mata Om Shri Mata Jagan Mata Om Shanti 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 Om Alone we can do so little. Together we can do so much. We have Professor Raja, Dean, School of Health Science and Rural Development, Gandhigram Rural Institute, and President, Indian Adult Education Association, New Delhi. And may I request Professor Raja to deliver the welcome address on this occasion. Distinguished uh, speakers, very distinguished uh, great personalities, professors, research scholars and students from various walks of life, from various places, starting from Kanyagamari to Tamil Nadu, Kashmir. We join together today, the second day of this series lectures, special lectures in the afternoon. Yesterday was uh, another webinar on different topic. Today is different topic. And this webinar brings people together to exchange the ideas, knowledge, and practical exposures wherever they have been working. And this has been designed in such a way wherever, wherever the universities and the, wherever people are working for the social change, bringing together for community engagement for the betterment of the society. So there are three, four organizations involved in this process. Gandhikaram Rural Institute from South, deemed to be university, particularly the Department of Lifelong Learning and Extension, Indian Adult Education Association, New Delhi, Tamil Nadu Open University, Chennai, University of Delhi, the capital city of the country. And these four organizations are working in different areas in terms of academia, in terms of activities related, in terms of outreach programs, in terms of digital literacy, and in terms of distance mode also. And we come together every month, one or two special lecture series we conduct on various topics and for the students, for the researchers, and for the persons who are involved in community engagement as well as the 
academic pursuit. We try to bring the experienced persons, the knowledgeable and the expertise. At the same time, we also try to bring youngsters, identify youngsters like Dr. Kanagaraj Iswaran. Though he is from Tamil Nadu, but he is working in Mizoram for several years and professor Department of Social Work, School of Social Sciences. And I welcome on all these four, four important issues. I heard about you <laughs> and you have been doing very good work in Mizoram, in elsewhere, and coordinating a lot of activities at the national level. And I'm sure and to proceed over, give your valuable presidential address. And I also welcome Dr. Mrs. Kalpana Kausik. She's the director of the Indian Adult Education Association. The only up to 39 without any break and rendering service to all the people, those who are needy from the grassroots level to international level and I welcome Mrs. Kalpana Kausik for having accepted to propose what a thanks for this series of lectures. Welcome you madam and I welcome Dr. S. Jnana Saraniya, guest faculty who is always there to give good prayer songs or good prayer song and Dr. S. Ramesh who is also another guest faculty of us. He is the master of ceremony coordinating. Another important person in our midst, Dr. R. Venkat Ravi, program coordinator along with Mrs. Kalpana Kausik organizing and associating the special series of lectures in a very able manner. I welcome all of you in this midst amongst all of us, our senior most professors like Kailas Chautriji from Madhya Pradesh, Matthew Anthony from Delhi, and many more persons who are all there on the screen, I could see. And I'm sure that this lecture on community yeah. engagement and social work, a Mizoram experience, is going to be a, a eye opener, which will reveal and we will be able to understand what is happening in the other parts of the Northeast region. So here, I just wanted to say a few words while I'm welcoming all of you. We teach social work. The students learn social work. Social work is one of the very important aspects in academia. But at the same time, having been understood the social work, the importance of the social work, I am really fascinated to see the real social work rendered by Mother Teresa, who came from different parts of the country, world, rendered her entire life surrendered to uplift the poor people without expecting anything. She was a great social worker. And I also wanted to highlight here Anna Hazare in Ralgam City created a model village having been served 
in the military defense area. And he established a model village in Ralgan Siddhi. He is a great social worker. And there are many we can go on add and add. Due to the time constraint, I'm not giving more names, bringing. Sabse bada Mahato Burne Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi was the great social worker and he who taught how to lead a simple life, how to take care of the last man of the society. And in his the Talishma, he mentioned that if you are in doubt, how to decide something, you think of the last man and the poor man. And you can plan that whether your plan is going to help the poor man and it is going to uplift the poor person, then you can very well do your work, plan your work and do your work. That's the message of Mahatma Gandhi in the Talishma. Towards the end of his life, he introduced this Talishma. So like that, we can go on add and add many social workers freedom fighters, they surrendered and sacrificed their life for the upliftment of the poor people. And also they helped and extended their service to the humanity to live in peace. So with these few words, I hand over the entire four floor to the organizers to take care of and to proceed further, once again, from the bottom of my heart, I welcome Dr. Rajendran sir, professor, and Dr. the chief guest of the, and the invited speaker, Dr. Kanagaraj Iswaran sir, and Kalpana Kausik, Jnana Saranya, Ramesh, and all other great people, those who joined in our webinar today, and there are so far 61 person joined in the Google and in the YouTube also more than 50 people already joined, but there are other people are joining. So I, this is a great occasion to meet all of you in this platform and have a great evening. And let us listen from the Dr. Rajendran sir, as well as Dr. Kanan Rajeshwaran sir. Over to Dr. Ramesh to proceed further. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, Professor, for your wonderful welcome address here. Community together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress. Personalities across the country, my dear research scholars and young minds from our own department and other departments in the Gandhigram campus asked me to organize a series of programs by inviting experts in economics in and around Gandhi Gira. And it was a wonderful hit in the campus and the university also supported. And I think uh, following the same model, the Department of Lifelong Learning and Extension in our campus is doing a government service in organizing the webinar on community engagement and the social work in general. And today we are going to have Misoram experience, an eye-opener for all the development thinkers. Friends, <clears throat> I come from economics discipline. We, we always talk about quantification, growth, development, standard of living, etc. and so forth. And more importantly, if you happen to see the development documents like planning commission documents, there are four concepts like foster economic growth and balanced economic growth, equitable economic growth and higher economic growth. This is what the Planning Commission document is saying in general by focusing economic prosperity of a country. But being a student of economics and also development thinker who has traversed across the country on many occasions, not only for research purpose, but also for uh, NAC assessment and 
also as a journalist who worked in Delhi for two years. I strongly believe that the development should go with the human face. Where do you get the human face? Not with the numerical numbers like 10 point or double digit growth and uh, things like. So therefore, uh, any growth strategy should have human touch. And against this backdrop, of late, most of the development thinkers, including the economists, not only in developing countries, but also the advanced countries, started giving different perspectives for measuring the growth and development. Now we all know that the development is measured in terms of happiness, pressure index, and also the uh, uh, women empowerment. All those things creeped in to measure the human development and also economic development in general. Now, from my understanding, as per the document I read along back from the United Nations Development Program, there are two uh, there are uh, two words concept. What they call it as bottom up approach. Three word concept, bottom up approach. Any development agenda, any development planning should emerge from the community at local level. But unfortunately, uh, in India, if you observe the Planning Commission documents and also the empirical evidences across the country, both in rural and as well as in urban areas, the growth status is slightly lopsided. That is why we are struggling hard to reach the equitable, balanced growth in every inch of Indian subcontinent. Against this backdrop, I think the non-profit, not-for-profit, and the community organizations do play a major role in uh, taking forward the development agenda in a larger country like India. Now, let me uh, slightly uh, uh, deviate from my argument and also uh, thinking uh, quoting a couple of uh, case studies in India, Professor Raja was rightly pointing out the uh, Annagasari movement in Maharashtra. And uh, I intensively and extensively visited Gujarat, Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh. I do come across a couple of organizations like Chipko movement in Garhwal region of Himalayas and also the uh, Punjab model of uh, uh, food supply and the Pani Panjait intervention from uh, 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 Tane, Amravati, Yavatmal districts of Maharashtra started by V.B. Salunke, later V.B. Salunke. And uh, another notable mathematician turned uh, energy conservator, conservator Dr. D.A. Dabolkar from Kolapur region. And uh, many more uh, examples of this kind in, uh, in the uh, western parts of India gave good shape to the uh, development activity based on community approach. Uh, I think the uh, think tanks like uh, Indian Institute of Technology Mumbai also have their own chapter in Karjat's area of uh, 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 between uh, Mumbai and uh, Pune. They have an organization called Academy of Development uh, Study Service Development Services. They have world's largest seed bank and also community development activities and they do have grain bank facility and in addition to the watershed development program. Uh, so I am making this reference because not merely the development model that we talk about from Delhi like uh, uh, top down approach will not pay any dividend, worthwhile dividend and hence the community involvement, community approach, community planning uh, will alone make a kind of comprehensive overall equitable and faster economic growth in the country. And against this backdrop, our sister department, uh, Department of Lifelong Learning and the Extension from Gandhigram, Indian Adult Education Association, New Delhi, Tamil Nadu Open University, Chennai, and the University of Delhi, New Delhi, I think all are very uh, uh, shining academic institutions join together to have a program on community engagement and the social work. And uh, many uh, individuals, as Professor Raja was pointing out, uh, put their might to uh, successfully organize this program, particularly Dr. Jnana Saranya, Professor El Raja, and uh, 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 Mrs. Kalpana Kausik, and uh, Dr. Ramesh, and uh, 
above all the person who is driving the force dr r venkat ravi so i a congratulate to them and also wish our young minds we have eg students from our own department i wish they will uh, get some insights from the uh, senior uh, professor uh, professor <coughs> Uh, Kanagraj Iswaran from Mysoram University, Iswal, Mysoram. So it will be an eye opener for economic students in a new perspective and direction on the development agenda. With this, uh, a brief remark as uh, presidential address. I thank the organizers for having given me an opportunity to share some of my random thoughts to the audience, and uh, we look forward to have wonderful uh, discourse from the chief guest of today's program. Dr. Kanagaraj Iswaran. Thank you. Over to uh, the guest speaker. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Dr. Rajendranana. It was so uh, eye-opening that you were able to touch upon the four economic growth models, economic for pro economic prosperity. Also touched upon how the top to down and bottom to up approach has. Um, you know, positive and negative aspect, but also how the bottom to top approach is much more uh, helpful for a country like, like India. And also from the economic point of view, various segments and equitable balance growth and all you touched upon. Thank you very much for having accepted our invitations and, you know, uh, presided over and also gave your beautiful uh, President's letters. In another occasion, uh, we invite you to be the special speak uh, speaker to provide the economic dimensions of the country where we are going. So with this, uh, I really appreciate and I'm grateful to you uh, for your wonderful um, presidential address. Before uh, Dr. Kanagaraj Iswaran sir, I request Dr. Venkat Ravi to um, uh, you know, introduce the Kanagaraj uh, Iswaran sir, in a proper manner. Over to Dr. Venkatram. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, good afternoon to all and learned professors, uh, many dignitaries, research scholars, my dear students, and fellow faculty members. And it is my pleasure to introduce one of our uh, senior faculty in the area of social work and also in a dynamic personality who hails from Tamil Nadu and works in Northeastern region in the Mishwadam University. A product of Ramakrishna Vidyalaya as a social work student, then moved to the Anamala University to earn an econometrics degree and also to obtain or to get awarded and postgraduate, sorry, the doctor of philosophy on his work on human development and social exclusion. It is none other than our uh, guest speaker, Professor Kankaraj Ishwaran, and we all affectionately call him as Ishwaran. And he has a vast experience and he has been uh, with the Mizoram University for a long time from the beginning of this century, I would say 2004 onwards, uh, moving in the ladder in the different capacities and he, which has also, because of his academic credentials, he has also moved in the, what to call the administration of university system and academic institutions in different capacities. And he has been specializing in the field of community development with an quantitative and qualitative approach because he's a social work man and very, 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 very rare combination that he is also a student of econometrics. So such a stalwart now we have with us and he has produced more than a uh, dozen PhDs and uh, MPhils, and he has been uh, guiding the postgraduate students also. And he has been continuously concentrating on community development and also the social work in 
in a time uh, in a uh, what I call in a back walking parallelly in the profession. So he has been a member and an executive committee in many professional bodies, Indian Society of Professional Social Workers and National Association of Professional Social Workers and Indian Science Association, Social Science Association and in many new public administrative society of India. So there are uh, more than a dozen professional bodies in which he has been involved. And it is an excellent to have uh, uh, Professor Kanagaraj Ishwaran on the dais to talk about a very important topic of the community uh, engagement and community development and social work on the, all the three dimensions. What is his experience in uh, uh, Mizoram University? Sir, we are all uh, very happy to have you and not only as a stalwart and you have an uh, we are special you are special for us because you are also in our administration in a different capacity of a uh, member board of management sir we are salute you uh, for being with us and we are happy to uh, hear you and uh, we are very proud that one of an uh, uh, tamil nadu scholar is in a very senior position in Mizoram University and talking about how to do in field work and also community engagement related extension work in the social work approach in the northeastern region. So, sir, may I have uh, uh, Professor Kanagaraj Ishwaran on the dais for on the uh, online platform for delivering a special lecture. Now, over to Professor Kanagaraj Ishwaran, sir. Kanagrasa, please unmute, please unmute and talk. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Uh, Vengat Ravi, for introducing me. I am from a very humble background. You know, I am from Coimbatore. I am one among you. I feel uh, happy to be with you all. I am very glad to be with you all. Uh, are you getting the slide? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. So, uh, uh, most respected Dean of uh, School of Health Sciences, Dr. Raja, uh, Professor of Economics, uh, Dr. S. Rajendran. Jnana Saranya and others assembled here. I am very grateful to Dr. Ravi for organizing this program. You know, always uh, teachers are interested to share their ideas. A teacher is always interested in uh, learning and sharing. So that's what I have always uh, uh, cherished. So, and that too, you know, we are very far away from Tamil Nadu, our hometown. Once in a year or so, we visit our uh, native. And uh, during that time, it is very hard to find any opportunity to talk to people from uh, our state also. So this is a very good occasion occasion like this are actually helpful for us to share with uh, uh, share our ideas opinions and all with our uh, people actually so always uh, uh, it is uh, always giving pleasure for us uh, when we share our opinions ideas and all uh, in our tongue with people who are very familiar you know we are more happy of course, we are also have interested in sharing with others also. But when we are far away from our home, always uh, we have great uh, uh, interest in talking to people who are from our place and all. So uh, that is uh, um, happiness today. So thank you very much uh, to Dr. Ravi and uh, other uh, members of this Adult Education Association. This association, I am aware of uh, it 
since my PG days, MSW or MA days, when we visited uh, Delhi for our study tour, we have visited Indian Adult Education uh, Association also. And uh, since uh, I think uh, last one year, the Journal of uh, Indian Journal of Adult Education uh, is coming to our department. So I am very happy to see those journal again. Uh, the journal issue and all again, and I whenever it comes, I read it. So I am very happy that journal is uh, again coming to our department. So uh, that is the thing. So today, you know, I am going to share my experience. It's more, more, you know, first I will tell my uh, understanding, then responded to those challenges. Like that, I will uh, share my views. Actually, uh, I joined here in 2004. By the time the Department of Social Work was uh, uh, there and uh, first batch was coming out first batch of MSW, uh, which uh, started its journey in 2002. Actually, in 2002, uh, the university was established and to, in 2000, it was established in 2002, the new first VC, Honorable uh, uh, Arvind K. Sarma joined and then uh, social work department, which was dormant, was revived and they started a postgraduate program again. And one Professor Puspa Kumari, who has retired from uh, uh, Assam University, has joined and uh, as a uh, professor on contract. And then another uh, uh, assistant professor from Delhi, Kalpana Sarathi, she has also joined. She has completed her PhD in JNU, then MPhil in, uh, before that MPhil in Nimhans, Bangalore. So then uh, we were all appointed in 2004. You know, we, Kalpana Sarathi got permanent appointment here and then um, my colleague Devendran and me joined. That was the composition from Tirupati, Padmavati Mahila worked in Assam University for about a decade. He came and started the department, field work and all were in place and we have brought different capacities, different things. You know, I am basically a man from economics, moved to social work and again coming back to economics, gaining some quantitative uh, research skills. So I have joined there. So that in the, that is the context in which uh, we started working on field work and continuously working on developing our curriculum practices and all. So that is the thing. And uh, now. You know, this is uh, in introduction before introduction. I, I can see some preface kind of thing. And, you know, with all that, I came here and uh, we started working on that very seriously, you know, having inquisitive mind to know, to understand, you know, that was always there, you know, knowledge uh, seeking. I, I have been, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, always a seeker, you know, uh, seeker in, um, uh, uh, you know, scientific way or a spiritual way also mumukshu mumukshu in uh, indic parlance also we can call so with that i uh, we came and then we all all together working together collaboratively supporting each other in research teaching learning in everything so we have developed slowly our department so it's uh, uh, going on so now coming to the 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 community engagement you see, everywhere now the talk is on community engagement and institutional social responsibility. See, everywhere, uh, you know, uh, this one is popular and new curriculum structure, postgraduate curriculum structure has come out already from UGC. We are trying to implement uh, the national education policy. Also, for every course you could see now field practicum, that in our university, four credits are allotted already for all subjects invariably uh, some kind of uh, community engagement is made as a mandatory component. So this is what uh, the situation now uh, we are all uh, moving towards that. And you could see uh, uh, the new curriculum structure under national education policy 
has made this uh, field practicum or community engagement as integral to curriculum in all higher educational institutions and i feel i think even in nac and also uh, the cover the uh, the uh, the scoring and all will be revised even greater weightage uh, i hope uh, will be given to community engagement also so this was actually uh, mooted even policy in 2000 the national review committee of experts uh, also they have done work on that and after that you could see in 22 you know the ugc has come out with a national curriculum framework and guidelines also see these guidelines uh, outline the goals principles and forms of community engagement and curriculum structure and all those things you could see community engagement uh, we are all talking now and uh, everyone is uh, uh, expected to do some sort of community engagement whether we are social scientists or natural scientists engineers or doctors we are supposed to do community engagement and this this is uh, something something uh, this is actually when we look at little closer it uh, it seems that this is derived from some foreign experiences you know in india earlier professor uh, rajendran was talking about our development models and their failures you know this this like you know my my, my contention always is that actually imported models without seeing their uh, viability uh, utility or suitability to our context we have been implementing plan after plan model after model so uh, that fails so the the suitability you know the historical context uh, our historical context socio cultural context is something different and you know many a times the academics academicians are actually marketing the western models ideas um, paradigms theories and all so this 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 uh, even in higher education or education also uh, uh, the attempt the imported models are not working properly or fully to the extent we expect so that is because of this imported wisdom so this uh, uh, social responsibility and uh, community engagement models by and large is uh, you know when you look at uh, look when we look at these things we find you could see though they though they call global context you know global context if you see global context whatever they say there there is nothing uh, from the non western um, context or something you know always what is coming from the western countries you know whose population constitute a minority in the entire global context their ideas their uh, uh, things or experiences are reflected so this is there but you could see uh, unesco's conference on higher education 2009 uh, the declaration also talks about this uh, in so community engagement and social responsibility and uh, the global university network for innovation established by again unesco talks about it and you know living knowledge network in europe uh, which has emerged out of the movement of science shops this is from natural sciences natural scientists also engaging in community in the west and they they also developed a knowledge network to promote it further one more thing pascal international observatory and this also university and community pa partnership particularly regional and local governments so these kind of initiatives in the west of course they are very successful see we don't have closed mindedness we don't blindly reject anything coming from west see my caution is always you know again gandhi ji has said again gandhi ji you know i i don't don't want to close i keep the uh, windows doors and all open for ideas to flow from all directions that is the that is the uh, indic mind uh, that is our mind actually india has always been if you look at in look at rigveda you can see similar uh, sloka in rigveda also india was always open to open to ideas from all directions 
but again gandhi ji has cautioned that i will not accept blowing of my house so many times that is the thing i this this uh, ideas of ex ideas like extension education you know that lab to land and that 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 only knowledge flowing from the university universities taking control over knowledge and exclusive authority over, over knowledge production and dissemination or knowledge uh, uh, validation that is a pro problematic that is problematic and and that is not acceptable if you read the global or so called western documents i see that kind of tendency that actually universities to lead the knowledge production and all that is there but actually when when you when you come to india if you look at the ugc document imposition or taking control over exclusive right over or authority over knowledge production that is not there you could see the principles if you learn if you read very happy i was very happy to uh, understand that mutual learning the first principle they talks about is more about mutual learning that kind of approach that it is not that only universities can produce and disseminate knowledge so knowledge knowledge ready there in the society so the universities are compiling organizing disseminating the knowledge and again that it cannot it cannot it cannot it cannot uh, take away the authority or right of the people for producing knowledge you could see the agricultural universities medical universities and even the associations of uh, 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 doctors you could see they have much negative attitude towards the knowledge which is already there with the people and they look down upon the knowledge that is there you know obsolete technology obsolete knowledge without even testing that kind of attitude is not desirable and fortunately the the national education policy very very important national education policy 2020 is in a very correct direction of integrating indic knowledge systems indic knowledge systems into the academia in education from primary uh, or community engagement is not new to india and already it is in practice particularly the rural institutes like our gandhi gram rural institute you know sri ramakrishna mission vidyalaya actually rural institute again that rural institute became uh, arts and science college where of uh, rural service diploma in rural service social work was introduced so i studied in sri ramakrishna mission vidyalaya Coimbatore. one of uh, my teachers professor p a guru swami who inspired me to work on development issues you know agriculture and all you know he was a drs uh, a scholar and later he did his uh, masters in sociology and again come uh, to uh, social work department so we we could see those days you could see today we talk about all disciplines engaging in community uh, community uh, promoting development learning from community doing research in collaboration with community in all aspects involving community you know mutual uh, knowledge sharing and all and it was all happening during the 1950s we can imagine no it, it was happening in gandhi gram ramakrishna mission and even in avinasilingam deemed university also now deemed university that time home science college it was their institute so there also gujarati vidya Pit, everywhere the gandhian constructive workers who are so dedicated they were all trying to learn from the community and contribute to the community development also this kind of uh, thing was there and other than that you could see community engagement was integral uh, to the curriculum of social work home science rural development agriculture extension these students were having field practicum or field work or something 
they were calling they were going to the community working with the people reporting and then credit now we talk about about giving credit to the community engaged all the, that was their part of it uh, that was there and you could see but in i i have learned recently i have visited antigram you know in in between actually there was erosion you know why chemistry student chemistry students should go to the community why physics student what they have to do with you know community and all that kind of questions were raised some people have you know some of the leaders no have stopped this kind of practices and again it is a golden opportunity that has come now and we are going to have again again reviving those practices now it is high time that institutions like gandhi gram that senior te teachers from gandhi gram uh, 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 conduct orientation programs uh, to the science and other uh, discipline teachers economics teachers or political science teachers to design the curriculum for community engagement already one model is given that is more for development and all uh, i don't know how far that will be uh, so community engagement so uh, you know now let me come to our experience see this is little bit my reflections on uh, the concept of community engagement and uh, uh, it's a uh, uh, historical uh, uh, thing because we need to acknowledge it we need to acknowledge that we have done our work and our people have done our good to work see the, the main problem in india is that we don't recognize our own scholars who have done good work always we look towards the west always we look towards the look looks towards somewhere for knowledge and wisdom and we have very much very many things very many great people are nearby you could see avinash lingam ayyar saundaram amma you could see ramachandra nayya you know you you could see you know uh, you you could see sarva stelling you know mother teresa and all uh, i think uh, he was telling you know we should not forget saundaram ayya amma ramachandra nayya our avinash lingam ayya were great social workers whose contributions are immense immense so this is this is we need to recognize and you should we should celebrate their contributions and we should we should always uh, you know grateful to them you know when i came to gandhi gram also so i when i was praying also i said all the ideals the great values cherished by cherished by uh, the great uh, gandhians uh, amma saundaram and yeah ramatan should flourish here they should they should again again flourish here and uh, that ideals and vision should uh, reach you know the intended benefits and it should prove and uh, the the idea I, the wish that the education need to reach all the people you know so that 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 i was even praying uh, personally also because i i do believe that thought has power so coming to our experience here you know community is one of the contested concepts in social sciences you know what is community and whether community exists you know that same way society exists you know if you ask uh, uh, the marxist leftist leftist they will tell community does not exist only classes exist you know if you ask feminists only genders exist there is no community community means commonality of interest so there is a symphony there is no symphony there is no cohesiveness there is always conflict people when think like that there is no community exist there is no possibility of existence of community but generally community we can see practically you know you know theoretically speaking ideologically speaking we may not be able to see the community as such but when we look at the people always <laughs> you know communities are existed you know community 
uh, we can see territorially a grouping of people who are living in a particular area geographical area and you know you can see the pattern of relationship the cohesive relations that exist among them are the sentiment community sentiment the feeling that we belong to the community the subjective recognition of recognition of that identity you can call a community and one more community in social work actually in addition to territorial and relational communities you know three uh, functional communities initially we were only having territorial and functional communities functional communities like school college university these are all functionally communities they work as community of course more structured and formal communities they are then the territorial communities like village community or a urban neighborhood you could see another type of community you can see uh, you know uh, in in this territorial and functional communities there is a relational patterns or system of uh, relations definitely and you could see other than that now the emerging concept of community is actually non place communities place communities to non place communities now network communities you could see relational network you know network of common interests common uh, uh, goals these kind of things are binding the people to form uh, networks you know formal or informal network now virtual networks also they talk about this kind of relational communities uh, but you know generally uh, you know we, we of course uh, there is a need for working with relational communities also like persons living with hiv you know uh, the the lay guest lay uh, in the lesbian community queer community these kind of communities also are there social work them work with them uh, you know promote their well being so that is needed uh, that is also going on actually so here in today's uh, the thing i want to share more our experience with uh, territorial and func uh, functional communities more mainly func uh, territorial communities of course within the territorial community you can see uh, schools hospitals and all also so uh, and engaging uh, community is always part of social work curriculum across the world from from inception social work education it was always it has always been engaged in community the the in fact the charity organization movement and uh, uh, settlement house movement the two movements in the west uh, resulted in emergence of social work as a profession and its core methods case work social case work and group work case work has come from actually charity organization society movement in uk and usa Set, uh, from settlement uh, house movement uh, the the community uh, organization has emerged and you know one approach case approach is focusing more on individual reformation or individual adjustment with the community or society and the other approach actually the settlement house the approach which has emerged from settlement house movement it focuses more on changing the community improving the relations improving the structures changing the distribution of power in the community or resource distribution you know how our you can conceive the uh, social change and all you know more radical activist that extreme system and simple uh, reformation that kind of uh, uh, the methods of social work have emerged so social work as such is a product of again western history post industrial uh, industrial revolution the cohesiveness the loss of cohesiveness in the west you know has contributed to the emergence of two approaches one is individualistic approach another one communitarian approach the the idea there was actually to rebuild the community the europeans by and large have lost the community you know they reached a state of anomie you know social disorganization or community disorganization so to rebuild the community actually community organization has emerged 
so always engaging with the community or building the community was the concern even those people who are working uh, with individuals were very much uh, focusing on social relations the approach was relations and it is not simply psychological and there was always a deeper and uh, uh, there was an attempt to, to understand the individual in the family community and wider social context and how the social relations are affected and how to repair the social relations that was the concern so always social work has been engaged with the uh, communities and you could see uh, in india also when we started social work education in 1935 the community engagement was always there that community field work was always integral to social work and uh, field work training was there students were going uh, you know this uh, community placement was always there uh, that was always there and uh, you could see uh, actually in social work education uh, teaching learning field work research were considered as three th th uh, three important aspects and again here community when we uh, when we see community again we we see not only small village community community and we see uh, uh, national community even global entire humanity as a community so that kind of uh, that kind of uh, orientation was always there even in community we, we teach a course on community community organization also so we see rural and urban communities uh, the communities in the tribal areas functional communities uh, in like schools you know school social work also developed as a field also in the west but it has not much developed about it and one more area now emerging is that network communities you know working with uh, gay, gay community gay, gay lgbtq community these kind of communities persons living with hiv you know hidden communities also relational communities also and uh, this you know students field work you know working in the field directly with the community or the agencies working with communities you know always uh, uh, intended this thing this uh, field work practice is intended uh, to develop the knowledge skills and values of the social workers it's 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 not simply the skills or technical you know command over the technical aspects of working with people or engaging with community but always also uh, the knowledge how the community works how the people live how they feel about themselves you know about more learning learning is a continuous process uh, we know well so knowledge development skill development Uh, the values human dignity you know respect for people you know like that social work values are there by and large humanitarian social work values were drawn from humanitarian philosophy you know that is uh, you know let us not not simply feeling good for others and doing something to alleviate the suffering promoting the well being of the people you know all round holistic well being or wellness of the people not simply adjustment to the a uh, social context that kind of, uh, thing is there and we always uh, emphasize knowledge skill and uh, values the uh, you talk uh, you know when we talk about uh, cognitive affective and behavioral aspects of uh, uh, life you know all modification or uh, uh, cherishing of uh, these uh, all the three aspects knowledge skill and uh, values that is our concern so when it comes to field work component we always uh, uh, you know our system is a semester system so we have uh, four semesters again in the first year we begin the students begin student field work uh, with observation visits to social welfare organizations you know governmental and non governmental organizations engaged in uh, uh, social welfare work so uh, it may be uh, uh, alcoholism drug addiction or you know hiv aids those who are 
from uh, suffering from addiction you can see uh, organizations working on women and you know uh, uh, women who are in distress you can see children child development uh, agencies you know integrated child protection service you know integrated uh, icds child development service also those kind of uh, agencies we always uh, visit those agencies whatever you know about 20 agencies so they visit there to uh, learn how they are work the uh, administrative uh, structures and you know what are the different activities they do so just to have a broad eye view what is happening in mizoram are in the context where we are working so this is uh, this is for understanding uh, you know broader overview to under to understand how they, they are all what are the things available because social workers are generally working in the context of the governmental non governmental organizations and nowadays in private sector also so they should know uh, uh, know how these organizations are working you know directly they should uh, understand what is happening instead of reading what is there in the book we can give material also to read about them rather than that we we are sending we are taking the students to the different agencies in so they see what is happening there and then uh, you know we place the students in field work two students in one agency like that all the students are placed weekly two days they are placed in the agencies and they learn from the agencies working with them working with the clients working with the agency uh, administrators you know learning how these services are working you know and also not only learning what how they are working in the context but also how to uh, uh, take you know in we, we we in the first year we teach uh, case work are group with individuals working with groups working with uh, uh, organizations and all no we learn we teach them and to see what is there and how to work with how to practice study assessment intervention evaluation this is generally the process of social work they try to learn those things and they work under the supervision of uh, uh, teacher here also there is a supervisor in the agency also agency supervisor also weekly they submit reports also they uh, they they attend ic and i supervisor gives the feedback and uh, uh, comments on the report submitted and gives suggestions for further work you know this is all four semesters the students have to do field practical and uh, actually this uh, in in uh, our department what we have done is that other than you know uh, in the first semester other than observation visits we have introduced one more component communication skills workshop this was actually introduced by kalpana sarathi you know she felt the need for better communication students need to have because social workers are basically communicators they need to develop communication skills you know reading writing speaking listening thinking all these kind of skills how to develop you know that see see we 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 conduct regularly you know one day workshop you know every semester we conduct one day workshop uh, for the students and then uh, we in the second semester we send the students uh, for field work agency placement other than that we conduct one rural camp rural camp we place the students uh, um, uh, in the community for a week actually one week uh, rural camp we organize in the community and uh, for uh, do studying for developing community profile needs assessment you know uh, we conduct a workshop also one day workshop on social survey and pra workshop we started manual training actually for survey we started manual training you know how to collect printing out questionnaire collecting data from the people then enter into uh, and then all that in the rural camp itself and the other kind of we also started teaching pi part petri rural appraisal or 
participatory methods you know but when, when we develop community profile you know the uh, physical features of the community the temporal features of the community the resource especially when we talk about people, the community settlement looks like you know where is the road where is, where are the houses where are, where are the resources distributed and you know with these kind of uh, exercises social map resource map services or opportunities map all those things you know uh, we talk about uh, actually we teach the students uh, the space related time related and uh, relational methods of participatory research so which is very much useful for uh, compiling the community profile particularly time related and space related matter timeline so and then seasonal calendar daily activity schedule how different uh, sections of the society, community are working and how they time, distribute time for different activities all these things the students study you know seasonal calendar how do you know how Something related to seasonality of the life, seasonality, seasonal calendar. You know, availability of resources, water. How that they affect the uh, life of the people, happiness of the people. All these things uh, we study, and we treat, uh, we teach the students uh, the technical aspects. And then in the rural camp, actually, they do the community profiling and needs assessment. We have uh, specifically developed the community profile. like like uh, physical features of the community temporal features of the community and then uh, 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 demographic uh, uh, demographic social economic uh, uh, structure structural basis of the community life also distribution the living conditions income and all no expenditure also housing all those things basic things also needs assessment also we do community as a whole needs assessment and needs assessment of uh, you know children youth there also we found gender variations are there so we separately conduct uh, our students conduct needs assessment for uh, girls and boy children poor and non poor again among poor also you you we, we could see a lot of difference in the needs of women and men so all these uh, uh, the different students do this kind of uh, uh, activities you know for thoroughly studying how actually community is uh, structured organized how the community is dynamically uh, functioning also you know we we could see needs assessment that is wonderful thing and we could understand the needs of uh, how the community needs differ from the perception of the community leaders and elites on the one hand and the common people and gender difference class difference whatever they talk even you know undifferentiated we call mizoram communities are undifferentiated you know see here we could see the community here also differentiation structural differentiation is uh, happening class kind of things are emerging all that we could notice uh, here and you know uh, uh, this this is a very rural camp experience is a very enriching experience and uh, we do conduct a need based training program coming and the learning uh, uh programs we invite agriculture department government department agriculture development department you know uh, sericulture department also sports and games department you know even nabard once we invited so we invite uh, uh, doctors from uh, civil hospital and organize one medical camp we have invited veterinary doctors also to organize a veterinary camp also so that kind of activities we organize and we do uh, conduct uh, competitions to the children in support of with support of the sports and games department our students conduct uh, sports competition cultural competition to the children and other members of the community so community people are uh, very much supportive you know they give space all the you know needed uh, facilities like water and all so very much supportive we were all, actually we were all going uh, two teachers we visit along with the students and stay there you know it was very uh, very enriching i have visited uh, four times you know initial period 
when we were uh, very young we used to uh, visit village uh, village camp we would stay in the village camp after that only for this uh, actually for training no in survey i used to uh, practical giving practical training i used to visit the uh, rural camp also so initially we have done uh, manual training slowly we now moved to android device now we are using one pobo toolbox for collecting data from the people so that immediately within 2 3 days we can do we are trying to do census of all the households in the community so that comprehensive picture of that village uh, uh, will emerge and also uh, we ask the students to make presentations in the department regarding the uh, uh, the rural camp experience and whatever they have learned from the rural camp uh you know even uh, for field work also uh, field work uh, learning also they present as a uh, field work seminar during the first and uh, second semester every semester they have to uh, present uh, field work uh, experience and share their experience with other uh, students uh, for that also mark is allotted so coming to the second year field work actually uh, second year is fully come Uh, uh, the rural and urban communities. There is no concept of slum here. So we, we development and family and child welfare. Some I mean, are actually engaged in uh, community only. We are not placing them in uh, organizations or agencies. So they do uh, all that community assessment. These communities are different from what they have. You know, the rural camp, the communities wherein they conducted. a uh, rural camp so they they again study the community entire community profiling needs assessment they uh, do and each student focuses on a specific issue or a specific target group you know studies needs and in uh, working with them collectively you know he or she develops a plan of action what are the needs of uh, the people and then on the basis of that actually fourth semester third semester they develop the plan study assessment and planning that is part of the uh, the third semester field work and you know fourth semester they go for intervention i will come to that and then uh, this third semester we are having study uh, uh, go to uh, the different uh, cities in uh, northeast india earlier we were visiting the delhi bombay bangalore chennai also once we have visited but nowadays because of our uh, resource constraint we are visiting only the uh, north eastern uh, cities so and in third semester we do conduct a project formulation workshop one or two days with experts from outside so that they will learn how to uh, develop project uh, projects so when they get uh, employment they will be of great use to them so for getting job also it will be useful to them and in the fourth fourth semester we have uh, block placement after the third second uh, third semester exams they are placed uh, uh, in uh, some organizations across the country to learn from direct experience so they they do have block placement rigorous uh, experience also they they are given marks also and in the fourth semester in addition to that we conduct a counseling skill workshop so invariably in uh, northeast especially mizoram counseling uh, skills are required for students to work with people living with uh, 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 hiv aids or um, drug use suffering from drug use and other problems so it is very much uh, needed counseling skills are universally warranted here so that is all needed here so the fourth semester they do lot of interventions like organizing programs uh, you know awareness programs you know in uh, with collaboration from the state and civil society listening in uh, mizoram aizol especially so they do organize lot of programs and you know after that they evaluate and wind up the field work actually uh every semester we we uh, about 30 days 25 to 30 days they are going to field work 
so they are working on, uh, on saturdays also so three days weekly thursday friday th saturday like that we do uh, field work and about 30 days per semester our students are working in the field now let me let me come to this is all uh, description of what we are doing actually so our challenge you know as a, a, a social scientist you know uh, a social scientist who is not Culturally or intellectually not uprooted. This my reflections are actually a social scientist who has not become somebody else because of his uh, social science training. Studying in the last uh, twenty years, near it, now I am in academia, educational institution since uh, ninety-eight back actually. So uh, even before that also ninety, actually ninety. 89 now the social sciences are actually uh, actually trying to uh, impart the western uh, world view culture and cosmology even deeper level cosmology uh, on india on us actually the mission is actually imperialistic and colonial and when it looks when it comes to social work also it is very explicit very explicit you know now when you read uh, social work promotes social change you know this social change is not a social change is generally a neutral concept promoting social change can never be the goal of social work or social sciences social change towards what that is when we ask such a question then it will be a problem so uh, when it comes to social work which is promoting social science which is promoting social change in the direction of the west so the west you know how west has gone west has gone now family less community less you know again i said you know west in west because of industrialization social disorganization community disorganization happened they were this entire social sciences were actually sociology Or you know, mainly if you look at social sciences, they were actually for rebuilding the communities, mainly promoting integration. If you look at sociological literature, integration is the core word. You know how to build integrate integration, how to how to build integrated communities, cohesive communities. That is the challenge. But in India, the challenge is not cohesion. You know now we are using the word social capital. i have done lot of work on social capital also still we are working on social capital so social capital is very much rich you know uh, here in mizoram or in india general we are very rich so social capital is not the reason for our under development why india uh, is under developed the basic understanding if you read social sciences you will see all the blame is on india per se and the real culprit the colonization and imperialism is actually excused or made we, we are made to forgot the real catastrophic experience of appropriation exploitation of much wealth which is from india and also the wealth real wealth much more valuable wealth our knowledge india was a hub of knowledge india was very rich you could see when you read gun the, the dharampal you will know that and you know these all these things in course of my social work learning and learning outside the textbooks social work curriculum the textbooks we pre prescribe are generally the western literature and we are taught to look at our community through the western lenses how the white person looked at india when he was ruling even after independence yeah. looking at and the same drishti actually trying to impart in field work in our education so that is not working that is not working so the, the issues what i have observed is that integration of theory and practice 
this theory something you know the the value we people give social scientists including social biblical you know the value a christian gives that much respect a social scientist gives to the thing called theory you know that theory which has come you know that integrating that theory the concepts the the drishti that is held by people belonging to a different cultural context different historical context who have a different history and all that experience you know assuming all that experience is there here also so we go to the field and we try to understand then this is a big integrating that theory to our practice here in the context which is very different that is a big challenge and then this is this is this is the ultimate challenge actually field work supervision you know this is a very practical challenge here i will tell you then actually integration of research and practice you know how to integrate social work research this is a big challenge i will come to next and then importing values you know we 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 draw you know values or beliefs that certain things are good and desirable you know end values and means values we talk about terminal and instrumental values you know social work is actually explicitly a value laden profession a very clear commitment social work profession has towards certain values which are out and out eurocentric not universal so that importing that value in a society which is a different of course the society is westernized highly westernized so that is a big challenge and then publications from field work always you know when we do so much field work we expect some kind of output always we are process oriented so we need to we should have published you know how to that challenge you know publishing our uh, field work process you know four semester you know about 120 days work <laughs> so that documenting it and publishing it is a big challenge yeah so this is a big challenge actually uh, the first is integration of uh, theory and practice always you know theory proceeds and the theory theory actually the in social sciences you could see what theory you have used for your research you know the the assumption is that you should use only the theory from europe only european white people can other people we only should follow and that also another assumption un unknown assumption or unrecognized assumption we have is with us is that actually we can only confirm the western theories because western people are so intelligent and we are less intelligent that assumption is very much there and even if the results our statistical results are not coming uh in support of the hypothesis derived from the theory this is deductive model by and large we follow in uh, quantitative social science research so we always uh, our people tend to change the data and suit our research you know there is always uh, uh, economic criteria econometric criteria of adequacy you know adequacy of that adequacy of the explanatory power of the model so that is not coming in indian context i have seen in tamil nadu and mizoram by and large these models though significant certain variables are significant in the model if you see the overall r square which ex, which shows us uh, the significance you know the the fitness of the model adequacy of the model always comes less than 50% so that the inadequacy of the western but we are not having the courage to to reveal that also except people like professor nallagounda who has written professor souls that your model is not fitting here you know one great professor nallagounda was there in madras uh, university so you could see his students are there 
your earlier vice chancellor professor uh, madheswaran was a student so the 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 inadequate theories and when it comes to most of the theories in social sciences including the hardcore quantitative economics most of the social science theories have not been tested for adequacy in non western context including indian context so very less very few theories social science theories are tested in the western context so that is that is uh, and in social work much of the theories are not tested that's why one great uh, uh, bala gangadhara sn bala gangadhara uh, he says that western social science theories are secularized version of theology so i found uh, i found uh, i took that hypothesis i was searching for myself whether it is true and i found actually case work was originally a theological one later uh, mary richmond has transformed the say, social case work which was originally you know a theological one into secular ones so much of the much of the work is finishing finishing so actually this is uh, this is the problem and when it comes to uh, uh, social work actually putting those theories blindly into practice is a problematic you know that that is not working here so what we did is actually we were not blindly following the theories we were looking at open mind what is in the field we always tell the students how we see not blindly putting we 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 slowly you know we are we are we are trying to help the students to be sensitive to the context to understand the problem from the point of that actually uh, uh, solely when we when we uh, moved to decolonization indigenization literature and it was very uh, useful and we have actually moved to bharatiya karan of uh, social work also we are uh, uh, advocating uh, bharatiya karan indianization that means integration of indic knowledge systems and non western knowledge systems in social work and in wide in wider social science context we we advocate the integration of uh, i especially advocate the integration of alternative alternative ways of looking at social reality right actually the next one is actually actually uh, uh, next one is actually uh, field work supervision that is very difficult trap this because of the transportation communication issues but we try to do uh, we i mean um, uh, twice or thrice visiting the agency and seeing the students there you know uh, telephonic conversations conducting individual and group con co conferences working through the agency supervisors and all actually uh, this this one point i think uh, integration of research and practice this is very much uh, uh, challenge how to integrate we do research uh, in the four semester now we are doing uh, dissert dissertation we have a separate dissertation earlier we have separate dissertation and we did a separate topic for research and separate supervisor for dissertation also so slowly we realized keeping uh, dissertation and uh, field work separately is helpful and uh, dissertation are integrated from field work we could locate certain uh, topics for our research also for you know uh, uh, you know we have done work on uh, thing cultivation housing programs how the housing programs were working very well here so we could uh, we could uh, we could actually uh, integrate the field work experience with our dissertation even mphil phd projects also topics also we developed based on our field work so uh, so we have made a dissertation a separate course and field work based there is no disjunction between field work and dissertation so that kind of integration we made but and that was the thing actually importing value that is a great challenge and what we have learnt is that actually our own values the original cultural values of the community that need to be utilized for development so that need to be developed actually so so now actually 
uh, let me complete this so social work practice actually need to be much more cultural sensitive and open mindedness rather than fixating with the outsiders lens or perspective or theory that trying to change our people into other people that kind of thing if we do like like agriculture universities putting poison into the soil and making anna into visham you know injecting poison into the food chain you know because of blind belief that modernization is uh, development that kind of uh, thing will not work here and uh, any questions are there we can discuss okay time is up sir yes yes can i can i ask sir uh, it was so nice that you could uh, explain the experiences in mizoram uh, how uh, the department of social work has been uh, anchoring with the students and the staff in uplifting and understanding and also linking the theory into practice and most of the experience that you have explained it is much more in line with the gandhi gram rural institute and also at ramakrishna vidyalaya coimbatore and these places is very known to you and and whatever you have experienced in mizoram and that has been pictureized by you very well and uh, i am sure that our uh, scholars and students as well as senior most of people have benefited out of your lecture i am really thankful and grateful to you sir and because of the time constraint we were unable to hear you more but maybe in the near future when you come to tamil nadu you kindly spend time with us and for our students and this webinar here and many from outside the tamil nadu have heard people join from kerala from madhya pradesh from delhi and other places i am sure your work will flourish and we are with you and you are with us we will be able to work together in the near future thank you very much now over to kalpana kausik director from the indian adult education association and uh, can i uh, uh, sir and uh, good yeah. afternoon to all of you i feel honored and privileged to get this opportunity to propose a vote of thanks i would like to thank all the honorable delegates who are still with us i am also very thankful to all the collaborative agencies special thanks to the dignitaries behind the curtain words are not enough to thank their constant guidance and support i on behalf of the organizing committee convey deep regards and hearty thanks to honorable vice chancellor gandhi gram rural institute professor gurmeet singh ji i am also thankful to the dean school of health sciences and rural development professor l raja for the welcome address and giving us an intro of today's important topic as you said sir that social work is a huge responsibility and you mentioned that uh you mentioned the great globally renowned social workers of india baba anna hazare and the father of the nation mahatma gandhi gandhi ji is still an inspiration for many i quote we must think and take decision keeping in mind the last man standing in row and community engagement and social work are interrelated in india the concept of community engagement is gaining solid ground policy makers have realized the importance of this concept and its integration 
into regular academic discourse. Educational and service institutions like Gandhi Gram constitute as serving their core missions of teaching, research, and service through various functions they perform. It is important to note that the engagement with respect of communities is not limited to its service function alone and encompasses uh, the other missions of teaching and research as well. At this juncture, I would also like to thank Professor R. Rajendran, Professor, Department of Economics, Gandhigram Rural Institute for presidential address. Economic growth of any nation depends on the development of the community. Your words radiated a source of energy with, within us. We thank you for being with us today, sir. My particular thanks to Dr. Kanagraj Eshwaran, Professor, Department of Social Work, uh, School of Social Sciences, University of Mizoram, for his gracious presence and sharing the experiences of Mizoram in community engagement and social work. Social work practice involves the understanding of human development, behavior, and social, economic, and cultural institution and interactions, which are important for the holistic development of any community. As you stated, the definition of community, a group of people having common interest. How can one approach and engage the community with effective communication between people? Communication skill workshop and participatory ap approaches can really be very useful and helpful in bridging the gap. As you mentioned that engaging communities in play, planning for development and decision making can strengthen their capacity to take this action that produces positive changes. It signifies mutual exchange of knowledge between universities and communities in an attempt to produce an output which is of benefit to larger society. Such, engagements, such engagement is possible through the teaching and research function of the university. As much as it is through its service function, as you said, that social work and community engaging is not new to India. We need to recognize our own people who worked for this nation. It is always there, just we need to reframe it according to changing scenario of the society. Moreover, Mizoram experience can also be replicated in different states to integrate theory and practice. We will keep sending the journal of uh, uh, adult education to you, sir. And please do visit Indian Adult Education Association again. Once again, thank you, sir, for sharing your journey and reflecting on your experiences with us. For future, we need to create an alliance of community engagement. Uh, it perceives the, this alliance as a change maker a steering mechanism um, which brings together champions of community engagement from different fields on a common platform. This alliance will work towards mainstreaming community university engagement in regular academia and foresee other ways and means of ensuring this integration and promoting it. Thank you, Dr. Venkata Ravi, Dr. Gyan Saranya, Dr. R Ramesh, and others for your support in all possible manners to organize the this webinar. Thank you so very much. Thank you very much, Kalpana. And uh, really, it was a wonderful feast from Mizoram. And from uh, south, we are sending the sweets to you, especially the Krishna sweets to you, and uh, from Kaimutu. So we'll meet and we'll add, um, involve more and more activities sir thank you very much and thank you for all the participants and all the our uh, leaders and uh, professional persons in this field thank you we will meet again maybe in the next month thank you bye over to ramesh to conclude yeah thank you thank you everyone to participate over here and uh, extending your warm um, warm support and uh, cooperation to successfully complete this event and thank you each and everyone we will uh, meet once again in your uh, next month or in near future thank you thank you each and everyone thank you